Hello everyone and welcome to this little guide on realistic traffic in City Skylines. I have three tips for you and disclaimer, you will need mods for them, sorry console players. But I want to make clear that you don't need to download hundreds of assets to have that realistic traffic. Even very small adjustments can help you to create that realistic feeling. Let me show you how. And please hit that like and subscribe button to get more tips and inspiration for your cities. I really enjoyed doing these videos for you guys, so please help grow this channel. Vehicles in city skylines seem more like from a Disney cartoon than from a realistic city simulator. Changing the appearance of the cars can add a lot of realism into the game. Let me show you how. And again, you don't need to download hundreds of car assets in the Steam Workshop to get that feeling. Most of you are probably aware of this mod, Advanced Vehicle Options. Nevertheless, let me show you the idea of this mod and what I personally do to make traffic a little bit more realistic. First of all, it's enough to get rid of the really annoying cars like the donut truck or the flower power beetle. For the rest, I figure it's not the vehicle model itself that makes it so unrealistic, it's more the colors that they are way too cartoonish with all those bright colors. So what I do is I just change the color variety to more darker colors. You will see it in real life that most of the vehicles have black, white and grey colors. And if they do come in color, the color scheme is still very dark. So I use these kind of colors to change the vanilla vehicles to at least look a little bit more realistic. But to add some variety, I have also downloaded some vehicles from the workshop. Especially to add some variety for commercial cars. And to be fair, most of the vehicles from the workshop are way more detailed than the vanilla cars. So they do add some more realism into your city. The same applies for trains and buses. There are some great assets in the workshop. So if you need to choose, I would rather change the trains to custom ones and keep the vanilla vehicles. One more thing that seems a bit unrealistic in regards of traffic is the speed that the cars have when traveling through your city. You can see them sliding through corners and roundabouts and it seems that they tip over at some points. So my tip is to adjust the speed limits for your streets with the help of the traffic manager mod. The train and metro speeds are even more unrealistic and as you can see the default values for train tracks are always set to unlimited. Especially in suburban areas and when you have corners that the train has to go through you should set the speed way slower to create more realism. Or would you want to sit in one of that metros? For bigger train stations and denser areas you should also set acceptable speed limits for trains when approaching the station to create a more realistic feeling. The base game unfortunately does not include parking features, so for this tip we are again depending on road assets and the traffic manager. You can quickly find some maintenance roads and these parking roads to add parking spaces into your city. You should include them especially on busy places like train stations or shopping malls to create a more realistic vibe in your city. Another small tip regarding parking, use the traffic manager to actively manage parking permissions on roads. You can see here that I disallow parking in roundabouts because this is very unrealistic. I also disallow parking on tight corners and dangerous places like this railway crossing. I hope these traffic tips help you to create a more realistic vibe in your city. If you have any comments or feedback please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to have more content like that. Thanks for watching, bye bye. Oh,